Hey everyone, Steve with Tech Savvy Agent, and I wanted to go over probably my favorite feature within Google Plus. And I don't really use Google Plus as much for a social tool. And the way that Google's moving here, they're actually uh, moving away from being a direct competitor from Facebook, and all their other Google offerings are being offered within the Google Plus umbrella. So there's a lot of neat little tools and add-ons here, and I'm going to show you my favorite one here today, and it involves your phone. Uh, if you have the Google Plus app on your phone, when you go ahead and you take pictures through the regular camera app on your iPhone or of course on your Android, uh, those photos as well as videos will be automatically uploaded into Google Plus and saved and archived. And this is really convenient because iCloud does something like this too, uh, but iCloud only does the photos right now and it doesn't save the videos. So if you want to make sure all your precious memories are backed up and you want to be able to edit the content as well and uh, edit your photos in a free Free, easy editing app uh, you can use Google Plus so let me quickly show you how it works you snap photos you don't have to press any special buttons or do anything uh, special on your phone to have this occur uh, but you do have to go into the Google Plus app every once in a while and that's when it uploads your latest pictures as well as videos now when you go onto your computer and here's my Google Plus profile here. There's a Photos tab on the left-hand side. And if you click Photos, this should have a list of all the photos that you're snapping on your phone. So I have photos as well as videos, all broken down into dates, uh, good, bad photos. Uh, and okay ones as well. I seem to have a lot of beer photos in here for some reason. But the cool part is the photos are here, but so are the videos. And if I were to click on one of these videos, the video starts playing immediately. Here's a great memory I have of my wife and uh, and my kids and now it's saved forever even if I lose my phone uh, or drop it into the pool. I have access to this content right here. I can share it through the Google Plus network if I would like or what I can do if I want to view a photo here, let's just scroll back up to the top and let's click on a picture. If I want to view a photo, I can share it out or I can edit that photo too. And if you go to the edit photo button in the upper left hand side of the screen, it'll go right into a Picasa-esque mode because you know Google bought Picasa and Picasa went away. Well now a lot of these features are actually appearing within the Google Plus network. So I can crop and rotate and adjust exposure and colors and I have a decent amount of control over my photos. And again, they're automatically updated here. So if I go ahead and I finish this, I'm just gonna cancel out of this particular image and we won't save that. Down here in the lower left hand side, I can go to the options button and I can download a full size version, an edited version of that picture. So it's just an easy way, easy way to share all of your images and videos, back it up effortlessly. There's nothing really you have to do on your end. And if you do wanna share it out, you can do that as well. So I thought you guys might enjoy this, a quick, easy feature within Google Plus.